What would you do if you faced your child's killer face to face? Would you end the life of that monster knowing that you might turn into a monster yourself? These were some of the questions Marina Bush Mayer asked herself in March of 1981 as she was on her way to the trial of her daughter's killer, Klaus Japutensky, to find out exactly what happened in that story. Let's start today's story. Marina Bush Mayer, a single mother in her 70s from the last century in Lübeck, ran a bar and lived with her third daughter, Anna, after giving her older children up for adoption. Marina cherished her time with Anna and devoted herself to taking care of her daughter. Anna was the source of happiness and joy in her mother's life, bringing joy to her life finally but in a devastating turn of events. On May 5, 1981, seven-year-old Anna was found dead. It was a painful and devastating blow to Marina. The investigation revealed that Klaus Brodsky, their 35-year-old neighbor and local butcher, committed this heinous act. Brodsky had a criminal record related to assaulting children, making the tragedy even more horrifying. Brodsky had kidnapped Anna and held her captive in his house before strangling her with socks. He disposed of her body cruelly in a cardboard box and left her on the bank of a nearby canal. The motive behind this heinous crime remains unclear. Brodsky confessed to the murder but denied any assault on the girl, claiming that Anna had tried to blackmail him for money. This immense loss plunged Marina into unimaginable grief. It was a devastating blow to the mother who had already faced great difficulties in her life. The tragic event later set the stage for Marina's revenge that shook the nation. The courtroom became a stage for an unprecedented act of revenge. Marina's actions were driven by her desire to take matters into her own hands after losing her seven-year-old daughter. The devastating loss shattered Marina's world, leaving her drained by grief and a relentless pursuit of justice. Her emotions boiled over when she saw the face of the alleged killer before her. On that day, Marina entered the courtroom armed with a frightening firearm ready to confront Klaus Bosky, the presumed murderer. In a moment of overpowering emotion, Marina pulled out her weapon and fired several shots at Bosky, hitting him six times and causing his death. The dramatic scene unfolded before the astonished spectators, turning the act into a subject of widespread media coverage and public debate. Marina's vigilante act shocked the nation, prompting a polarizing response from the public. Some viewed her actions as a courageous expression of her quest for justice. They sympathized with her pain and believed that the legal system had failed her. However, others expressed concern about the dangerous precedent set by her actions, raising questions about the legitimacy of personal revenge and the rule of law. The trial that punished Marina's revengeful act became a controversial event, capturing the nation's attention and sparking discussions about the limits of justice and the potential consequences of taking the law into one's own hands. In the end, Marina was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and illegal possession of a firearm, leading to a six-year prison sentence. Her case became synonymous with the concept of civil justice in post-war Germany. The impact of Marina's trial extended beyond the courtroom. The media extensively covered the case, leading to the amplification of public discourse on vigilance and the limits of the legal system. The events surrounding the trial sparked a wide debate on the role of empathy, sorrow, and the pursuit of justice in society after decades. Marina Mayer's case remains a poignant and controversial chapter in German legal history. After three years in prison, Marina was released on bail after her conviction, then chose to move abroad for a period of time before returning to Germany. Unfortunately, her life took a tragic turn when she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. On the 17th of December, 1996, at the age of 46, Marina passed away. She was buried next to her beloved daughter, Hannah, in the Bruchter Cemetery in Lübeck, Germany. 
Marina's death marked the end of a demanding journey that began with the devastating loss of her daughter. Her grave in Brookter Cemetery serves as a poignant 